Lesotho's capital, Maseru, woke on Saturday to soldiers on the streets. In a televised address, Prime Minister Tom Tabani said they'd been deployed to restore order. He's declared a state of emergency. On Friday, a court ruled against Tabani's plans to suspend parliament, where he was due to face a vote of no confidence. This as Lesotho nears the end of a national lockdown because of the coronavirus. There are some elements, uh, political elements for that matter, who want to take advantage of the prevailing situation to try and subvert rule of law. But police chiefs say the army was deployed to intimidate them. They've accused Tabani of being involved in the 2017 murder of his second wife, De Polelo. His current wife has already been charged with murder. Deputy Police Commissioner Paseka Mokete speaks to us via mobile phone video. He says he's gone into hiding. We were informed that uh, there was a plan to uh, get us arrested. Actually, I think uh, what uh, it's been the rationale behind the deployment or getting us arrested is simply because of the case that um, we are handling uh, involving the Prime Minister. But the government says the men were simply called in for questioning. Tabani says as a sitting Prime Minister, he can't be charged with murder. He's taken the matter to the Constitutional Court, which is yet to hear the case. Tabani had previously tried to fire the police chief leading the murder investigation, but the courts prevented it. This is not the first time that the police and army have been pitted against each other as political tensions increase. In 2014, confrontations between soldiers and the police left one police officer dead. And now as tensions ramp up, the South African government is sending a special envoy to its neighbor to mediate in the latest crisis. Lesotho has a long history of coups and military involvement in its often fragile politics. While Tabani has promised to retire in July, he continues to face opposition within and outside of his own ruling Basutu National Convention. The army has now withdrawn, but tension and uncertainty remain in the tiny southern African kingdom. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera.